Do you enjoy when your students lie to you? So this topic I want to talk about is called line in the sand. We all have heard that term, you draw a line in the sand, you don't cross it. When you make the rules and procedures for your classroom, you are drawing a line in the sand. A very easy way to visualize this for most teachers is they don't allow students behind their desk, okay? So they'll tape a line leading up to their desk and they say nobody can cross that yellow line. When you are a teacher and you tell those students nobody can cross that tape line, but then during your third period class, your friend's kid steps over that line. Not only did they actually like step over the figurative line in the sand that you drew, your rules, they've actually stepped over that tape. You must enforce the rules that you set for your class. If you tell your class, you do this, this will happen. You step over that tape line, you will get detention. If you don't give those students detention that step over that line, you have in effect lied to your class. You have shown that you do not have equal requirements for your, your students. How do you feel when your principal sets standards and not everybody has to abide by it, but then they enforce it when it's applied to you. You are doing that to your students. Now in our head we justify it, oh I know their parents or they're a good kid or you know that's my teacher's aid, whatever it is. If you let that happen, the other students see it and they will start thinking that the rest of your rules and procedures are options as well. Or maybe there are options for certain students that you like or that are friends with your kids or whatever rules you're, you're not enforcing. If you make a rule for your class, you have to abide by that rule.